This is the glitchiest offense in Madden 23. Psych! It has the most explosive run plays in the game. Run. And pass plays that no defense can stop. Thank you! We don't on my ride when I drive in it. So if you want to see a full breakdown of one of the best offenses in Madden 23, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a brand new offense from my latest offensive ebook that I just put out, and that playbook is the Buffalo Bills. If you guys have been following my channel since the beginning of the year, you know that the Saints is my favorite playbook, and the Gun Stack Y Flex is probably my favorite running pass offense to use, but the offense I'm going to show you today probably comes in a close second, so you should definitely expect to see this scheme a lot more in future gameplays. In fact, a lot of footage I'm going to be using today is from a gameplay that I already put out in a defensive video I uploaded yesterday, so if you missed that video, I'll have a link in the description as well as a pop up on the screen at the end of the video so stick around for that before i get into it as always if you guys want to see more Woo! offensive and defensive videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section but if you want to see more from this or any of my ebooks right now and you don't want to wait all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and you can download them instantly to your phone computer or have them sent to the email of your choice the formation i'm going to be focusing on from the bills playbook today is the pistol open close flex i first put this formation out in a gameplay video from last year when it was first added to the game and like most new things EA adds it is usually not programmed correctly and completely broken and when I say broken I mean literally broken as one of the plays I'm going to show you is a guaranteed penalty every single time you use it if you don't run it the right way to me the best formations in the game are pistol formations for many reasons and this year they have some of the glitchiest plays in Madden 23 like the constant RPO glitch plays that keep popping up that have been running wild in Madden since the RPO was first installed I've already put out a video about several passing glitches that exist in Madden 23 and most of them are found in pistol formations so if you missed that video I'll have a link in the description for that as well but aside from glitch plays there are several advantages that can only be found in pistol formations advantages like starting quarterbacks depth which starts at about five yards behind the line of scrimmage only gun formations have a deeper starting drop so when it comes to passing, gun and pistol formations are very similar, but where the pistol formation really pulls away is the run plays. The gun formation, for the most part, really only has a few run plays to offer, and they are typically an inside zone or an outside zone, and that's it. Every once in a while, you will find an effective counter toss or trap run, but 99% of gun plays just have a vanilla inside handoff of some kind. This is because the formation is limited by the running back being next to the quarterback, meaning the running back can only go in one direction to receive the handoff from him. The best and most diverse running formations are the ones where the running back is behind the quarterback, like single back strong and eye form. But even these formations don't even come close to the variety of plays that pistol formations can offer with exotic run plays like triple option run plays, pitch plays, and the plays I'm going to show you today Day that can't be found in any other playbook in the game. This formation has multiple run plays that could all be considered the best in the formation. The first is the inside zone weak. This is going to be the best inside run and you can run it in either direction as it really is just an inside zone with a blocking fullback, which no other inside zone from the gun formation has. All you have to do is look for your best opportunity on the defensive line, whether it's a bigger hole on the inside or a bigger lane to the outside because this run play can be run inside or outside after the snap. To flip the play, all you have to do is hit the right stick to the left or right to flip the run and not flip the entire play. This play is the best run against cover two man in zone because the safeties drop back post snap, making them much less effective in run support because they are further away once the play starts. Next run play is the motion zone split, which might be the most explosive run in the entire formation. This is the first play that I'm going to go over that incorporates the use of the motion wide receiver, which will be very important to the next few plays that I show. The diagram looks as if it is designed as an inside run, and that might be true, as you can still run it that way and have a lot of success, but I have found that it is best to follow the motion receiver to the outside for much bigger run lanes, as the tight end at fullback also pulls in that direction creating what feels like an outside trap block that can often spring you for some of the most explosive run play opportunities in the entire formation. This play is best against man coverage, especially as the motion wide receiver and the stationary wide receiver both run downfield, which typically pulls the cornerbacks back, taking them out of the play without even blocking them. Against zone coverage, these same wide receivers can turn the blockers, making this play effective against any defense. But I find that it is most effective against man, cover three, and cover four defenses because once again, the cornerbacks drop back post snap, taking them 
them further away and making them less effective in run support. There's also a counter run called the Motion Counter Y, which pretty much works the exact same way, only this time you have an additional pulling blocker in the guard from the right side, giving you three pulling blockers, including the motion receiver and tight end. This can also be very explosive to the outside, but the biggest downside is that there is a delayed handoff, which loses acceleration of the running back, and you don't have the option to go inside like you do the zone split, as the animation forces you to the outside in one direction. The next play can also be considered a run play, and that is the infamous RPO Reef Flat Wheel. Plays like this and the recently patched to death version with the exact same name out of the Gun Deuce Close Formation from the Chiefs and Texas playbook are so broken that EA banned using them in the most recent tournament around Thanksgiving. I will get to the reason why in a moment, but let's focus on the running option first so we can wrap that up before we get to the pass plays. This run play is unique because unlike the previous play, you can really go into either direction after the snap. You're going to want to have a mobile quarterback to run this play as you have the option to either hold the A or X button, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation, to hand it off and go to the right, or you can do nothing and keep with the quarterback and go to the left. To decide which option is best, all you have to do is watch the read defender, which is if you press the left trigger, you will see a box defender with an R above his head. If he is aggressive and shoots in towards the handoff, keep it with the quarterback as he will usually follow the running back out of the play, leaving with nothing but open run space in the area that he left. If he is passive and drops back like this, almost like he's playing into a zone coverage, you will have to hold A and hand it off, otherwise he will be waiting for the quarterback to make a stop. Other than that, I find this play's best run against man coverage is no defender is manned to the quarterback unless they're in a spy, meaning that once you take off with the quarterback, it will take a little while until the defenders break from their man assignments to focus on tackling the quarterback. Now that we've gone over all the running options, let's go over the passing options as they are probably the best on this play anyway, starting with the motion receiver that gets open against any defense and especially glitches out man coverage, which is the reason why EA banned it from his tournament. Last year, the defensive back would follow all the way across the field and cover this receiver, but for some reason this year, he stops about halfway across the field and either does nothing and just stands there, I guess turning into a zone, or sometimes he turns into a blitzer and goes right after the quarterback. Either way, the receiver will be wide open, meaning that if your opponent is going to run man against this offense, they will either have to use it every time, they see the receiver motion across, which will open up the run plays, or they will have to stop running man altogether. This route beats any zone coverage too, as long as you throw it immediately and bullet and pass lead away. So it really doesn't matter, meaning the majority of your opponent's attention will be spent on that motion, opening up the entire offense. If your opponent is in zone and they use that route first, you do have a second option to throw to on this play, and that is the fullback or the RBR1 route. This route will not be manned very well, but it does give you a good second option for a short completion underneath if you need it, and it usually is good for about five or more yards if you have a fast tight end. This route is best against cover three and cover four zones as the cornerbacks will drop back on the other routes, giving plenty of catch and run space outside. There are two more routes, but they are completely unusable due to the faulty design of this play, as they take too long to develop, and since this RPO play is technically a run play, the lineman will get downfield, resulting in a guaranteed penalty. So make sure that if you run this play, you pre-diagnose what you're going to do with the ball ahead of time, whether that is running or throwing, because if it takes too long to make a decision, you will be penalized. So that's it, that's the vid. I do have more plays from this formation in my ebook, so if you guys want to see more, as always, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, as I do plan on making more videos about this offense in the future but if you don't want to wait i have already put out a full breakdown of this offense already on my brand new second channel that i just started this is a channel where i do in-depth breakdowns in practice mode of offenses and defenses that i use here on my gameplays from this channel so if you want to add more to this offense right now and you don't want to wait i will leave a link in the description for that video as well as i have some really good man coverage and zone coverage beating plays in this offense that i didn't get a chance to go over here so Please make sure to be a subscriber on that channel as well if you enjoy my content. Other than that, I'll have a gameplay video of me using this offense that I just put up yesterday popping up on the screen. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure it'll help out your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.